Whose broad stripes and bright stars do the perilous path? Oh, the path that we walked was so gallantly sweet, and the rocket feather, a bumper singing. Sunny evening at the stadium field here in Darien, Connecticut for some varsity girls field hockey between the Darien Blue Wave and the Greenwich Cardinals live on the DAF Media Network. Hello folks, Dylan DeRiso here alongside Kari Johns, the JV field hockey coach here in Darien about to start off this matchup between a strong Darien team and an equally tested Greenwich squad. Darien is coming off an 8-0 win against Stamford. The 2-1 and one Blue Wave have played well so far this season. Their only loss coming against New Canaan in overtime in their season opener. Obviously, we are fully into this season now. We're starting to see where teams are shaping out against each other. Kari, tell us a little bit about this Darien team and how you think they look compared to some other teams. Um, I think that... Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, there was an overtime loss. Um, you know, they gave up two, a two-goal lead with this, um, only seven minutes to go. So un that's an unfortunate loss, obviously. Uh, no one wants to go there. But <laughs> um, I think it was a, a learning lesson. You know, you learn more from a loss than you do from a win. So I think they rebounded really well. Um, there were some injuries. There were some things going on. But, uh, you know, no excuses. It, it, it's a, it was a great learning lesson, and I think they learned a lot. And since then, they've rebounded really well. Um, there's a lot of strength. There's a lot of youth on the team we've talked about. So I, I expect to see a really good good game this this, this match. Um, it's 530, a little bit later on in the afternoon. So, again, that's always a, <laughs> it's a little yeah. bit harder. So we'll, we'll see. You never, you know, we usually play right after school. So we'll see how that goes as well. But, um you know, a lot of youth, a lot of speed, and a lot of talent. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Greenwich has the ball, starting possession. Uh, just passing that ball back. Whistle blown, it'll go to Greenwich here. Um, so unfamiliar with a lot of the players on Greenwich, so we'll try to call it as Cardinals in there in the red. Um, going from right to left on your screen, and Darian in the home whites going from left to right on your screen. Here is uh, Ryan Hapgood traveling down the right sideline. Um, she's wide out right and passing that ball back to Brinsley Rush, and Greenwich coming right from behind, picking that ball up. And there's a, a just a stick obstruction called, so the ball's going to go back to the spot of the foul. Uh, it was senior Lindsay Olson taking that ball. Good job by Lindsay Olson sending that ball in the center, and she's going to find, um, looks like, Molly. And good job there by, um, oh, actually, sorry, that was Evelyn <laughs> sending it over to Molly. And unfortunately, coming for, uh, yeah, the ball coming from behind, <laughs> little trip there. I think, you know, you'll see a little incidental tripping, um, mm -hmm. hopefully incidental. Some teams, unfortunately, not <laughs> incidental, yes. but hopefully, um, you know, these teams seem to play cleanly. So um, there's Molly, M Molly McGuckin on the ball, and um, the freshman, Ashley, um, 
in the center. There's Raina Johns in the center, sophomore player. Good job getting the ball. There's that incidental we're talking about. Um, hmm. Greenwich will take it here. Yeah. They'll play it back in, try to shoot it down the field. Darren will intercept that and hopefully try to take it back up into transition. Yeah, new player to the team, Casey, um, coming on the team here. And she's c Casey Bonneau, she's coming from a uh, oh nice go-ahead ball there and unlucky, unable to control that. So Grant is coming with a 16-yard coming out from their backfield. And you see they have a four, kind of a four-bowl formation in the back here. Um, Sending that ball through Casey Beno again, finding that ball and finding her teammate Ashley <coughs> in the center. Uh, trying to get the last names for you. Actu Ashley Stockdale, one of uh, two freshman sisters on the on the team. So again, young. We've got very young, a uh, few freshmen, sophomores starting the starting lineup. So just giving you an idea of the U. Casey Beno, uh, sophomore. Yeah. John, sophomore. Ashley um, Stockdale, freshman. Um, Greenwich now taking it up the field. Yep, uh, attacking down their left side, and it's a great stop there by Brinsley Rush. The Darien defense making a stop and trying to shoot it down. Greenwich will take possession back here, and they'll start to move it up the field once more. Yeah, a little bit too much space there between, um, I think that uh, Coach Minikis is looking a little bit too much space between those first two lines. It's a good ball by John sending it out wide to um, Ryan, Ryan Hapgood, who's a nice little ball there, and she's going to carry around the edge, and yeah. And that ball, yeah, there's a little sick obstruction there on the outside. So far this season, both Darian and Greenwich have faced the same opponents and all have had the same results. Darian beating West Hill and Stanford with a loss against New Canaan. Greenwich also with beating uh, West Hill and Stanford with a loss to New Canaan. That one, though, losing 4 nothing. So, but it so far, both teams have been pretty evenly tested and. Yeah, so with the regions, it's tough, you know, so where it's, yeah, so there's a third-party obstruction, umpire signaling inside the circles. That's going to be the first attack penalty corner opportunity for, for Darian. So with the regions, we're facing the same teams over and over again. Unfortunately, in the FCAC, you'd have the opportunity to face all the teams in the FCAC, but with the um, regions, you're going to see the same teams. Um, I know Darian's going to face New Canaan three times and Stanford and West Hill two times and I believe Greenwich twice. Um, so we have Maddie, Maddie Holt, a uh, junior, who's going to be inserting the ball here. And you have Casey Bonneau at the top of the circle, Raina Johns at the top of the circle to see if they can execute. They had a little trouble with their pen penalty corners. There's Evelyn Heidi with a nice, beautiful lift and a nice save by the goalkeeper out wide that should be a long hit coming in. Long corner. And John's in the center of the field. Going to pass this ball back to, um, oh, but not a mistrap there by Lindsay Olson, who recovers the ball. And um, nice recovery there. Pass it in. Trying to move it down here. Pass it down, intended for Hapgood. Yeah, it's intercepted, but they get it back. Yeah, she's got to cut back for that ball there, waiting behind the defense, and that never a good thing at ball. Uh, Lost yeah. it into the middle, and Greenwich will clear it to the outside. So Hapgood came around with her stick from behind, so causing that foul there. So no great clear out there, but a good stop there by Rush and sending the ball in. Good reception there by Molly McGuckin. And nice little reverse there to pull in. And good good job to get the feet around there uh, by Greenwich. Here's Ashley Stockdale. It's taking a little bit too much time with the ball there. So nice little nice little lift over. And you see a great, great line of defense there by um, Greenwich. They had one, two, and three right in a row there. So, and yep. Yeah umpire signaling a foot there so another uh, opportunity for attack penalty corner here for Darian. Darian keeping a lot of pressure so far this game that strong offense getting some shots Greenwich seems back on their heels so we're gonna see if Darian's able to put one in the net soon well the thing with you know field hockey is that the ball moves so fast on this on the on the turf well not quite as fast as AstroTurf but um, you know it's you got to take these opportunities um, ball from Casey uh, back to Johns and oh, just wide of the just wide of the post. Unfortunately, um, post player not able to receive that ball. It's a great, great shot there. Great cross to the center. McGuckin just couldn't place it in. And uh, it looks like Darren's going to get it back here. Yeah, was a good another offensive rush. That was a good ball by Greenwich to clear out, but unfortunately not able to be handled there by um, by the Greenwich player. Went wide on the outside. Good effort there by Stockdale to come and try to um, 
You see the ball, J good job by Johns there in the center of the field to get that ball. It's unfortunate. Nice Greenish ball there. Taking it into the offensive zone for the first time this game. Yeah, that was a great ball through. Unfortunately, they didn't have a receiver there, but that was a good opportunity there for them. Once again, Darren will take possession here now. He was and pulled from the left. The ball up the field. And she doesn't have a receiver there, so it's a nice little step there by Captain M. Uh, looks like Emma Riley there. Good reception there. Casey Bonneau sending the ball up. Umpire signaling third party obstruction. It's a great um, aerial ball, and you know, that ball was into, sp it has to be into space, and you see that was into some players there. So, um, fortunately, that's a turnover in the, the spot where it lands. It's a great ball in again. No recep no nobody there to receive that ball, so it's going to be wave ball here on the right sideline. Here is Rush again, senior captain, has been started this part of the starting lineup for a few years um, as a sophomore. Actually, um, that ball was. Looks like Greenwich is able to keep. A great some stop on. there by great stop there by Olson. I'm, I'm not sure where that call was. It was a great stop by Olson, and it actually looked like it hit a Greenwich foot. So it's going to be Greenwich ball coming in. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, it's unfortunate. That was a great ball out. Just a little wide. Greenwich with a few errors tonight on passes, giving Darian multiple opportunities. Let's see if Darian will be able to clear it out of the zone. Nice ball by Rush. And unfortunately, it comes down to those, you know, sometimes just those little, you know, those little mistakes. And, you know, whoever can capitalize on them. And we saw that in the, <laughs> in the New Canaan game, unfortunately. And New Canaan capitalized on those few mistakes that Darian did make. Um, And as we know, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to, somebody's got to <laughs> lose. So if you can capitalize on those mistakes, it's, it's the person who generally capitalizes. And, um, you know, Darian's hoping to capitalize on, on, on their good fortune here today. It's going to be a cross ball over and a good stop there by Greenwich at the top of the circle. Here goes Greenwich once more. We saw Darian get the ball a lot earlier, and now it seems like Greenwich is finding their game a little bit. Starting to get some of those possessions. Yeah, they're looking for this transfer ball across. Here's Molly McGuck, and she's so quick, and she just worked really hard on the ball. Um, sending the ball in again for, oh, great job by Stockdale to get, Stockdale to get there. And, um, oh, that ball looked, oh, nice try to find the teammate. But Greenwich right in there, knowing with the intended receiver, and steps up. Yeah, and that ball's going to, that was a great job for uh, the, the Cardinals, knowing where to place that ball, seeing the Darien um, defender coming right up. And good job there by Olsen. They're having good support around the ball now. Here's Riley, uh, Emma Riley. Oh, yeah, and that ball, yeah, good. He should be coming out. This is a dangerous hit there without. Greenwich with some strong defense so far up near the net. Darian has had multiple opportunities, but Greenwich has been able to come up with a stop every time. It looks like Darian. Stockdale again. There. Yep. Darian will take it up once more. Great McGuckin ball to McGuckin. Wide open. Uh. Oh, she just could not receive it. And that ball will go out, and it and will be another Greenwich possession. Here goes Greenwich now. Darian taking possession of it here, passing it up to Bogdan on the far side. And unfortunately, she isn't able to take control of it, and that ball goes out of bounds. Greenwich once again taking it inside their own zone. Darian intercepts the pass, and they will take it on a little rush here. That's Stockdale with a shot, and that ball will go out. Greenwich now inside their own zone. And Darian will get the ball once again, trying to make a move towards the net, but they can't. And Greenwich makes another stop and forces the ball out to the side. Darian able to keep it in, though. Setting up for a pass. 
Moves it up top, it's in the middle, and Greenwich is able to find possession of the ball once more. They'll try to clear it out, but Darien will take it back again. A lot of pressure we're seeing so far from the wave. There go the Cardinals now. Trying to clear it out once more. Darian coming up with a stop. Looks like there was a uh, form of obstruction there, and the ball will go out of bounds. So Greenwich will get it uh, once again. We'll pass it back now. Darian will intercept another pass, carrying it in now towards the middle. And Greenwich will make a stop once more. Finds a first pass, able to clear out, and that ball will go out of bounds. So Darian, excuse me, Greenwich now will take it. Looks like it was deflected off of Darian's stick. A lot of back and forth we're seeing right now in these few moments. Greenwich taking it up now. Getting an offensive possession, but Darien will make a move and clear it out. Greenwich will take it here. Darien will clear it out once again. Pass is blocked by Darian. They'll carry it up now. That's Stocktail. Up to. That ball is out of bounds once more. Here go the wave. Whistle's blown. Pass it in now. Couldn't receive the pass, but the Greenwich player couldn't take possession of it. Now there's a little bit of a scrum there. And it looks like Darian will get the ball back. In the offensive zone here, passing it up towards the middle. It's intercepted by Greenwich. They will carry it up now. Carrying the ball. Darian puts some defense on it. And it looks like Greenwich will take it again. Thirty seconds left here. Here goes Greenwich. They'll just move the ball back, take possession of it, and Greenwich will get it again. Here they go, trying to make a move. Darian will make the stop and clear it out. Bogdan on the far side, pass it up to Stockdale. She'll carry it up, and the horn will blow. So we will be right back here in just a moment on the DAF Media Network. Back here live on the DAF Media Network. We're 
Varsity Girls Field Hockey between Darien and Greenwich. 0-0 zero, zero after the first period. But before we get back into the action, I'd like to give a quick shout-out to our DAF media crew. Braden Shank directing and graphics tonight. Kate DeMarc on camera one and Davis Stepp on camera two. We saw an even, pretty evenly matched first period there. As the Blue Wave had multiple opportunities up front, but they couldn't convert to a goal. So we are tied as we will begin the second period here in just a moment. Ob obviously, the story of this season so far has been the worldwide pandemic, of course, which almost took the season away from these teams. And Kari, I just have to ask, what was the reaction from both players and coaches when they found out that there would be a full season? Oh, everyone was so excited. I mean, uh, you know, the fact that we had to start out with um, – only hour-long skill sessions and, <laughs> and training sessions. Um, you know, you had to start out just imagining that no one had done anything for several months, so that was really tough. Um, but everyone, I think, was really excited to get to playing. There were several weeks of that, but then once we could get a uh, you know stick and ball in hand, it was so exciting. Um, it, it was, you know, so in short, a lot of these students, some of the you know juniors didn't have a season last in the, in the springtime. We had talked about there hadn't been any sports since March. So, um, you know, just have the opportunity out here to play um, and, and really just get out on the field. It's, it's, it's a unique year, obviously. It's been a unique time for all of these all of these young athletes. And, you know, I know they're excited to play, so. Of course, sports are so important to so many students here at Darien High School and in high schools everywhere, really, um, obviously very important especially for the seniors in their last season so they were probably like as you probably as you just said very ecstatic when they found out that there would be a season so we are back into the action here well I know we have you know Casey Casey Noe was a student at Loomis um, private school and you know sh they weren't having us um, sports and you know so a lot of students from private schools transferred into public schools that were having sports because it is important and you know y there's recruiting time becoming available and there's uh, you know it's very important um you know colleges shut down some colleges acc i know is still working through several sports but um you know it's just <laughs> it's it's a lot of a lot of livelihoods for a lot of students especially as you know in fairfield county of course. um here's darian in this in the circle and looks like they're going to get another attack penalty corner Great. I, I, you saw this. Uh, so, um, you know, we'll talk about um, high school has now come to quarters. It's been an international for quite some time. It came down on the college level and now coming at the high school level. Um, so you'll see 15 minutes. Um, Zondarian just started out the second quarter with a bang. Uh, mm -hmm. Ball possession, getting good ball movement, and now with the tech penalty corner. Um, so this would be, I believe, their third. See if they could generate any type of activity here. There's John's shot and, oh, just a it go in. It I looked don't like believe it, it did. It looks like <laughs> it kind of went over that line, but uh, Michelle is a fantastic umpire, and she was right there, so we're going to trust her. I can never trust my eyes from this level. Um, so close there. It looked like it was <laughs> just on the line, and then they were able to push it out, and yeah, Greenwich was able to knock it out there. Fantastic save by um, by a defensive player there. I can't see the numbers either. I never trust my eyes, and um, on this field, the lines are gray, which are very difficult to see. There's a great move by Brinsley Rush, nice little spin move. Um, great stop there by by um, Hapgood, but <coughs> I was taken away by by a Cardinal player and good stop in the field by Johns again, and another stop there from behind. So it's going to be uh, Darian Ball. So wave coming down the right side here is Hapgood. Just get the ball and right yes, and continuing in action here is Wave passing the ball back to Rush. You see a sea of red <laughs> in there. Um, they're really packing it in tight. You see their entire team. So there's 10 field players and a, and a goalie, and they're really, you know, the Cardinals are really packing it in, um, not really giving the Wave an opportunity, although wave, the, the Wave is maintaining ball possession, which, um, you know, in the New Canaan match, it did quite a bit of as well. Nice move by Bunnell. Um, nice save by the keeper. Um, and good job by, um, you know, you always want when the keeper gets gets the ball, you always want the defensive players to clean you up after that, which they did a great job of. Yeah, Darian really keeping it in the zone here. So far this quarter, doesn't seem like Greenwich has really had any possession. 
But if you check in that circle, you see a lot. <laughs> you see a lot yeah, of cardinal lot red. Of, <laughs> there are a lot of Brennus players here on defense. <laughs> They're doing a great job. Here's Johns. Yeah, sending that ball in. It's off a of cardinal stick. And there's Blake, uh, another freshman, um, doing a great job. She's got a great little stick in there and uh, trying to get a tech penalty corner. But Greenwich is doing too good of a job there. Greenwich may be able to get it out here. We'll see. Darian doing a good job of keeping it in the offensive zone. Nice job by Beno there to put a stop, and she's got a she's got a great help on her outside there. Um, with Blake, uh, I'm not great with my last names. Blake Wilkes. Again, we talked about the um, the youth of this team. So Blake Wilkes, oh, great stop there by Lindsey Olson. And here comes Johns from and Olson again. No, oh, nice little lift by Greenwich to get there, but um, Emma. Captain Emma Riley right there to put that stop in. Oh, great job by Wilkes again. So going ahead, it looks like there's a 2v2 if that ball could be moved quickly. And she sends the ball across to Molly McGuckin. And it is up for grabs. We have a 2v1. And it's, th oh, un unfortunate. Looks like Greenwich will get it here. McGuckin and Hapgood. I think it's going to be wave ball. It's going to look like a long, yep, long hit coming at the 25. Both McGuckin and Hapgood were sprinting to try to beat the Greenwich player. John that sending ball that ball right in. To the oh. middle chance. Yeah, McGuckin just couldn't get her feet around that ball. And good job by by um, the Cardinals to start that ball. And there's Ashley Stockdale again to get that ball moving right away. And McGuckin having a <laughs> little trouble with her feet. She'll get the. She is such a hard worker. She's gonna get this get this going. Darian will get it back once again. Granite's just struggling to get it out here. Darian keeping the heavy pressure on. You know, you talked about the youth, and obviously the team is always focused on what's going on in the moment, but you have to see all these freshmen and sophomores starting on the varsity team right now, and you have to be thinking about the future and what the next couple of years are going to be like. You know, they look very, very, very bright um, with this team, with the youth on this team right now, like I said, with the with the freshmen and the sophomores starting in the starting lineup, not to mention Molly McGuckin and Evelyn Heidi, the two juniors. Um, very, very, very bright. Um, you know, there's a lot of youth, and there's a lot of youth coming up. We have 500 in the new youth program. So the youth coming up, um, just a shout out to the, the to the youth, new youth program that our uh, former freshman coach, Wynn Lennon, had just started this year. 500 youth players. That ball was up into um, Wave John, so it should be hit right in the middle of the field. But Casey Benoit's going to start that. Nice little pull right there, and then she releases the ball out to um, Hapgood, who's uh, still in possession, and ball out of bounds by Cardinal, so she's going to continue possession. So, yeah, just, just so much... Um, just a little bit too much on that ball down the sideline. So uh, good things ahead for Wave, Wave Field Hockey, a as it has been, um, you know, just a phenomenal program here. Um, Coach Minicus has been on the helm for quite some time and has, has done some really great things. Looks like Greenwich will get it here. Tries to pass it up. Darian takes it though. Great Greenwich. ball by John. Send out to Br Brinsley Rush. And Rush just sending it through the center of the field. It's just generally where we don't want to send the ball in. Um, you see that causes a turnover. Looks like Greenwich will get a little offensive best possession here. Great job by John. this quarter. And Darian will be able to knock it out again. But Greenwich will get the ball going back in bounds. So let's see if they can do anything with it now. Darian's had so many opportunities, but Greenwich has played such good defense, they just haven't been able to get it up into the offensive zone. It looks like they're going to be doing that here. Yeah, they're inside their offensive 25 here, so um, good, that's a good pickup again over there in the by Matty Holt, and now they're attacking down the right side, the Cardinals, and sending, yep, just, a, just outside the circle. So let's see if they can get something generated here, they're carrying that ball in, and nicely done, and just over the end line. Um, umpire signaling for uh, Cardinals ball again, just outside. Sending that ball back, trying to find some space here and coming back in and, oh yeah, this is a dangerous ball coming in. So it's gonna be wave possession ball on the left side. Greenwich is trying to get something going here. Um, wave 
has been pretty strong and, and doing really well. And again, I, you know, we mentioned that, you know, with that loss, a lot learned, which is fantastic. A, li- a lot of g- great pressure there, but nice job on Maddie Holt. Sending the ball to Bono and um, good stick work there. And Greenwich really prying the pressure here. John's coming over to help and can't quite see what, what happened over there, but it's Cardinals ball. And they're just on their 35 yard line. Great job by Stockdale to knock that ball down. And again, Wave sending this ball upfield, but here's Greenwich trying to not allow that offensive penetration. Greenwich, Greenwich keeping a little more pressure on now. Darian having a tougher time clearing it out of the zone. Nice right, little touch there. Like get it, they might get it here. Yeah, that should be. A little scramble with great. Greenwich players, and Darian will clear it up. That's McGuckin, but. Fortunately, she was called for a little infraction there, and Greenwich will take it now. Yeah, she swung her stick there. It's, you can't, you can't cause that danger. Here's Johns dribbling through a few players, and s- yep, sending that ball nice, nicely done. Going to get possession again. Johns will take it now. Great ball through. Up to half good. She'll pass it towards the middle. There's a Greenwich player there to, though to intercept it. Nice job there by. But they'll keep the pressure on now. Great job by Half Good. Oh, unfortunate. No, a long hit. It's going to be off a Greenwich player. So Greenwich doing a great job. They're getting some real good defensive <laughs> practice here inside their circle. And, I, you know, Wave going to keep knocking. See if they can get anything open on the door here. Yeah, you can see just about every single Greenwich player is inside the zone right now. Oh, uh, it's ball traveling through, and it's going to be a 16-yard hit coming out. We have... Just under five minutes remaining in this first half. Zero, zero score. So a lot of pressure on both sides of the ball, more so from the Darianne team. But still, we are yet to see a goal here as the Blue Wave try to apply as much pressure as they can. Unfortunately, unable to convert thus far. Well, Looks just like Johns will take it now. Yeah, just outside the circle. So, um, so those... Um, Greenwich players should still be five yards away, even though that ball, um, so not, yeah, the, uh, unfortunately, not, um, Hapka not coming back too far for that. Tipped off a Darian player, but the Blue Wave will once again manage to keep it inside of the zone. Great job by Greenwich coming back for that ball. Oh, that's a great ball. That's a great ball by, by the Cardinals. And here's John starting that ball right away. Uh, an umpire signaling here to come back. Nice ball there to Hapgood. And you see the Cardinals just packing it in again. When you take a look up, you really see the numbers up for the for the Cardinals inside the circle. Um, they are really um, oh nice nice stop there. It really says a lot about that Darien offense that Greenwich has to be keeping almost all their players back on D. Darian <laughs> has a very strong offense. We've seen it in the past two games. Oh, great job beating, by Wilkes. Uh, beating West Hill 11 nothing and Stanford 8 nothing. So high-scoring Darian squad. You know, and I'm sure they've done their research and, um, you know, t- taken a look at the players here and, and, and you know, noticed that um, there's a great job there by Darian to carry this ball over. Here we go. See if we can get anything generated. But... Um, whistle um you know a lot of these games obviously <laughs> on film so DAF doing a great job and um there's a good ball ahead here's Wilkes let's see if if Darian could get anything generated oh that ball just Wilkes not able to to get a strong enough ball off Grandis will be will make a move here great pass across yeah that was a carry it up now Good job Looks here, like Lindsay Olsen on the ball, and great stop there, and fantastic teamwork. Darian swarming on that defensive um, play there. I'm not really. Looks like Greenwich is going to get it now. Uh, on the umpire is calling a, an, a, an attack penalty corner, and I have absolutely no idea why. It was outside of the s- of the circle, and there was, on my in my opinion, absolutely no f- uh, flagrant foul there. So I don't I don't see what happened. Um, I'm baffled by that call 
Um, and whenever you make that call from, you know, in, in my opinion, you give the you give the opposition a huge opportunity to score here with, you know, eight players versus only four plus a goalkeeper. So that that has to be a very, um, you know, a, a very flagrant foul. And I didn't see anything that warranted that. So let's just see what happens. Just a minute and a half here. This could change the tide of the game if Greenwich yeah. is able to make a play or pass it in. Great stop and there by Johns. Darian makes the stop and they'll pass it up now. Let's see if Wilkes can get a breakaway. He's got to release that ball it shortly. Up the field. Yeah, great ball up. A great pass. Darian in the offensive zone with just a minute left here, hoping to put uh, one in. Yeah, More time and expires, and it looks like Darian will keep possession. And they'll get an attack penalty corner. So big opportunity for the blue wave here with just 50 seconds to go. Coming down to the wire in the first half of play. So that that's the, the if you can get the ball down the field quickly enough, which is the way we're able to do. Um, you know, you have you have um, an opportunity here. So let's see if anything can be generated. It's 30 seconds left in this first half. And here they go. Great insert. Passing Goes to Beno. Sends the ball low to Johns. Johns, Johns sends it in. Shot. And goalie save. Pressure. Diving Little save lift. By the goalie. Again by Beno. Another shot. And looks like Greenwich is going to clear this ball out. Still in. Sends the ball in. And Five great save by go, Greenwich. And it looks like Greenwich will hold off for the first half. Fantastic saves there. 0-0 zero, zero after one half of play. And so far, it's very equal. We saw Greenwich with some pressure. And Darian keeping a lot more pressure on that Greenwich team. We'll take a look at that very close save that happened earlier in the quarter in just a second here. Got so close that ball down to the line, but it was stopped by Greenwich and they were able to clear it out. So after one half of play here, we'll take a little break. Darian zero, Greenwich zero on the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darian Foundation and the Darian Athletic Foundation. We'll be right back. In 2008, a group of four women came together to create a playground by the beach for kids to have fun. We thought it would be great to have a playground at the beach. We live in a community that's on the water and uh, it would be really fun to be able to appreciate that. There was a playground here originally, but it was in the backwoods and there were mosquitoes. It was very, very unappealing and no one wanted to go there. Building and designing and fundraising the playground definitely took a good amount of time. We had to fund it. It was a quarter million dollars. We had an estimate given to us. We had to fundraise for that amount of money, and we started out with different ways of doing that. One of my good friends did PR, one did the graphic design. I ended up being in charge of um, selling all of the bricks. We had someone doing the playground design, and we were all moms who were mothers of preschoolers who had just left the workforce. We approached a lot of different big companies, and they said they couldn't fund us. We weren't really reaching the amount that we needed to reach. We decided to go ahead and ask the Darien Foundation for a large donation to kind of kickstart the campaign. The Darien Foundation wanted us to expand the project a little bit because they felt like the playground was really only for the two to six year olds. Once the Darien Foundation agreed to pledge money, the town agreed that we could put swings in. When other people heard that we had gotten money from the Darien Foundation, they were able to say, well, this is going to happen. This idea is actually going to come to fruition. So they, a lot of people then came on as funders. Uh, local businesses came, more families decided to buy bricks because they knew that this playground was really going to happen. It wasn't just some pipe dream of 
19 moms. Well, one of the great aspects of the playground as we designed it was that we had it open to the beach because the kids love running back and forth to the water and then back to the playground. One of my favorite parts of the playground is that it's in the shape of the nautical theme with the ship and the lighthouse, given that it's on the beach. It's because of the playground that the parents come and really take the time and enjoy, have their coffee, and watch their kids grow up and have fun. Playground by the Sound has been an important part of the community for 10 years. During our third annual Weed Beach Fest this June, we made the playground kind of a center point of the actual event. In honor of the 10th birthday of the Playground by the Sound, the Darien Foundation hosted our Kids Cove, and for the first time we were able to offer it open and free to the public for over 400 kids to enjoy, and we are so thankful for the Darien Foundation. The Playground by the Sound grant had a big impact on the Darien Foundation in two ways. Number one, it was our first, or one of our first, big capital grants, and we were really excited to partner with the four moms that brought the project to us here at Weed Beach. The second thing is it got people to feel in town that they could come to us and make presentations and bring their good ideas and we would be receptive and open to hear those ideas and it's created a great dialogue between the Darien community and the Darien Foundation. People need to know that they can do something like this on their own and with partnering with the Darien Foundation to actually do the funding made it, it happen. Back here live on the DAF Media Network. A nice, beautiful October night here 
Mild temps, perfect for sports though. Under the lights here at the stadium field. 0-0 zero, zero after the first half. But before we get back into the game, we'd like to take a quick shout out. Give a quick shout out to Nan and Doc Olson in Colorado watching the broadcast tonight. Obviously, DAF Media has allowed so many people to be able to watch Darien Sports all over the country and right here at home in Darien. So we're glad to have our DAF Media production crew here tonight. Davis Depp on camera one. Uh, Kate DeMar, camera two. Braden Shank, graphics and directing. And alongside me, I have uh, Kari Johns here. So we are about to start the second half of play. And Johns will take it, and she will pass it into the zone, and Greenwich will take possession. Great aerial ball. That's a way to get it into your offensive, offensive end right away and try to attack, which uh, Wave will try to do, but it, it just hit a, a foot there. So... Um, Greenwich gonna the Cardinals gonna attack down their left side and imagine they're gonna try to get a nice hit or pass through, but great stop there by it looks like Hapgood and sending the ball through. Nice little touch there by Bogdan. So Bogdan in the match now. Good send on net there and good save there by the keeper. Diving and again save, another, another shot. Yeah, another another set on goal, but good stop by the defense. So much pressure from Darianne. And Greenwich is executing every single time on defense. Their, goaling, their goalie coming up with multiple key stops so far. Just in the first half, we saw oh. so many plays right on the goal line, and the Greenwich goalie was there to make the stop. And Greenwich will try to go on an offensive rush here, and Darian will knock it out. And here's the Cardinals with the ball on their right side, side in. Empire just... Yep, so going there. So it looks like they're going to do a nice little lift there and see if it falls into, um, if it fell into some players, but no one in reception. So great ball out to, again, Bogdan in the game. It's a great ball sending back to Rush. He's going to send that ball back into Bogdan, who just missed traps, but John's still in reception, carrying the ball through. And, uh, oh, nice stop there again. So Greenwich just ready in that circle. Um, they are expecting anything that the <laughs> anything that the wave has. Great stop there by Holt. Anything the wave has, there's a little little blooper. <laughs> anything that the wave has thrown at them, they are ready. They have been ready thus far. Um, they have been stacking up on defense. And it looks like Greenwich might have an opportunity here, but Darian is make able to make the stop. They clear it out. Good job by John's in the center of the field, and the, and the Darian team there. working together nicely. Bogdan taking it up now, but Greenwich will take it back. Nice little spin move there. So pass it back. There's Blake the Wilkes defenseman. applying a little pressure, and you have Hapgood stepping up, and you Hapgood have good on the far side. Tucking this, let's see if she gets this ball up, and Wilkes there. You have both Wilkes and, oh, just wide of the net. We're getting some great action here, some great high school <laughs> hockey for you folks on a beautiful fall night. Darian back with it now. So Beno just sending that into a little bit of traffic here. So Holt with the ball on the sideline. And if you look in here again, you see a little sea of, <laughs> sea of red. Grenad the Cardinals just doing such a great job of packing it in there. And, and so it's tough to find an open, open white, home white stick. So you see we've switched a little bit here. Uh, Darian earning an attack penalty corner. Great job, Bibino there. So they've switched sides of the field. Your Darian home whites are going from right to left on your screen. And Greenwich Cardinals uh, visiting team going from left to, left to right. Darian with a big opportunity here. Hoping to maybe score a goal, get some momentum. They've had a lot of pressure so far this game. Haven't put one in the net yet, but neither has Greenwich. Well, you know, they, it's it's frustrating as a team when you've had so much possession to not to not come away with a goal. But again, the 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 oh, fa fantastic answer. You want that ball to come out so quick, and it has. You know, to have so much possession and not come away with a goal. Um, you know, that's the frustrating part. Of, but the the. The defense has done such a great job. Um, but when you do have possession so much, you know, you sh you it feels like you should come away with a little bit more of a reward. Um, That's Wilkes with it. She knocks it out of bounds, and Greenwich will take it now. And it's launching the ball up. Oh, what a great stop by Holt. Holt. 
But that's a down to Bano. Yes. Reynolds will get it again. Passing it up. This time. Ball is received. She passes to the outside, but Darian keeping that pressure on with the double team. And it looks like Greenwich will get it once again. Yeah, I was just set up the stick of um, Wilkes up into a little bit of traffic there. So great pressure there. Bogdan is back, but she misses it. Good speed there by Rush on the outside. See this ball traveling so quickly. And again, that ball into traffic, as we had mentioned, it's got to drop into space there. Greenwich being given a lot of chances to clear it out right now. And Here then comes Darian with another stop. This is Johns now taking it up across to Bogdan. She can't receive the pass. And Greenwich will now go on a rush here. It looks like it is a five on four, but Darian making the stop, and they'll carry it back. Here's Heidi with possession. Great pass up, but Beno not quite there just yet. Great reception there by Holt, making a great step up and a good pull in. She's looking for a teammate to pass to, and she finds, oh, a nice go-ahead ball and great save again. But Benoit's there at the top of the circle. Good job of the Greenwich defense. They are really on their game tonight, as they would have had to have been, uh, with because of so much pressure by the Darien Blue Wave. The wave is hitting them like a tsunami tonight, but they, yeah. <laughs> they are handling it so well. Greenwich hasn't been able to show much offensive strength so far as Darian has been keeping all of the pressure, as you said. And Darian trying to get it up here. Darian just, whenever Greenwich gets the ball, it seems like Darian hits them with a little bit of some swarm defense. And that is how they've been able to keep the ball so much. It's just, a, again, a little incidental there, I think. Um, you know, we see that just, you know, from time to time. But no under pressure right away, but she gets that ball, sends it up to um Wilkes. to Wilkes. Yep. Bogdan's sends that ball on the far side. It is intercepted by a Greenwich player. Yeah, sends that ball right through the middle. So it's, it's unfortunately you don't want to send that ball right back to where it came from. Um, and that ball's going to go over the line again, and it'll be a 16. We've got a little bit of ping pong match heading here. So you want to try to change the 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 um, point of attack so the ball came right through the center. Olsen sent it right back in the center and. Um, I want to kind of change this a little bit if possible. It's been on the, the left side of the Darien wave attack here, the right side of uh, Greenwich a little bit. So it'd Darian be nice. with another successful clearance now. Greenwich possessing. And yeah, that's looks like a little infraction there ran into the player. Yes, it's an obstruction. Greenwich to take it up now. That's a great ball. Launches it in. Darian there to make the stop, but looks like Greenwich will beat the Darian players to the ball. Oh, Makes nice little pass the in there. Yeah, great job. And a great stop there Cancel. by the Darian defense. Darian defense once again putting two players on, making the stop and clearing out. But now here, here's Greenwich inside their offensive 25, coming down the right, right line. Sending that ball back, maybe trying to change the point of attack. That was a great little one-time pass back. Finding a little bit of space, we send that ball back in, and there's Johns with a stop in the center of the field and a great ball out to Bogdan. Um, oop, a little <laughs> like sticks got yeah, hooked on to each tangled other up a little bit, it happens. I would imagine they're going to try to send this ball back. Yep, gaining a little vision, a little bit of space again. And great step up there by Benel. She Darian read that play perfectly. Darian subbing McGuckin back in. Here's Beno. Great job by Beno. And Darian will get it. Beno will launch it in. There's the recently subbed McGuckin working for it. And Greenwich will take the possession now. Pass the ball up. It's stopped by Beno once more. Over to Stockdale. Misses the pass. And Greenwich will take it back up now. Darian once again swarming with their defense and now Johns takes it but it looks like Greenwich will get the ball now yeah the pulse it was a f just a foul just a just slightly back a little bit all right I imagine this ball is going to try to go up and over a little bit but oh 
Nice ball through. John's just putting a stop on that. And once again, great job by John to come away with that ball. Sending that ball out right. Beautiful ball. Bogdan has it. And Bogdan has a fantastic hit if she can get that off. But she's under immediate pressure by the by Cardinals. Um, the ball goes out of bounds. So there's Brinch Rush sending the ball right into John's. John's. Great sweep in, but middle. no receiver there. Good job by Greenwich to stop that ball again. Greenwich now going to try to clear it. Mm -hmm. Darian hoping to swarm with that defense once more. But Greenwich is able to break through the Darian defense and it looks like yeah, Darian will get it back now. Olsen put a good stop on that ball and there's Stockdale with a yeah, nice little backhanded pass but fortunately a little miscommunication there. It was Bono. Uh, she sends a great ball out to Stockdale and here's Molly McGuckin. Just ball just a little bit too much off her stick there. Now you see you see so <laughs> so much red again. Not, I was just gonna say <laughs> So many Greenwich players back on defense. No wonder Darian hasn't put a ball in the net yet. That's Beno to the middle. Yeah, that should Two be Two Darian a girls there, mm. and the ball will be knocked out of bounds. I thought I saw. <laughs> I thought I saw an opportunity there for. Um, here's Beno sending that ball in, but again there goes Greenwich. There's Johns putting a stop on that. Uh, and <laughs> and right back at you. A little back and <laughs> forth there. <laughs> Greenwich will take it up now. Gets through the first set of Darian defense. Nice job by Olsen. This is just a fantastic match. We're down to four minutes in the third quarter. Um, both teams doing a fantastic job. Again, uh, the Wave with much more possession, but um, have not been able to. Now, yeah, the it should be Darian Ball there. Bogdan subs out for mm -hmm. Maloney. Now that is Maloney on the far side of the field with it. So Teddy Maloney, Passes one of the captains. Down to Hapgood. Nice job by Ryan Hapgood there to get something. Great job. And she's just outside the circle. Keeps her feet moving nicely. So Teddy Maloney's got to just move that ball a little bit. She's going to carry the ball out, pass it back to her teammate, Brinsley Rush, um, who's going to find Lindsay Olsen. And a great ball in. If the wave can get there's Molly McGuckin. Get those feet moving Duncan around a little it. bit. And try to yeah get an attack on the corner. And Darian's going to have another big opportunity here, hoping to convert this time. Just three minutes to go in the third quarter, as the Blue Wave will get an another chance. Hopefully, I believe their fifth or sixth of the game. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's again frustrating when you can't <laughs> convert on these either. But but I the. Cardinals defense is doing such a fantastic job. Um, you know, you practice these pen uh, penalty corners over and over again. So their defensive unit has been fantastic rushing out. Um, let's see if the Wave can come up with something different, trying a different side here. Stop great job. To Johns. Oh, Johns nice job shot. by Johns. Knocked great save. And great save again. And another great save out in front. Greenwich just not letting Darianne get through. Yeah, this Greenwich with a great pass out. Keeping the pressure on, but Darian will get it back once more. That's Maloney up to half good, and that ball will go out of bounds on the far side of the field. Greenwich now hoping to make a play with it. They haven't had much offensive opportunity, and it is because of that Darian swarm defense just getting on them at all times. You know what, the Wave is doing much better than, uh, you know, that they did. And I think, again, I said, but, you know, you do learn a lot more from the loss is that they're moving the ball so well um, this this match. Um, and I, I, I do, I can't, I feel like they are moving the ball much better than um, than the Cardinals team there because, they're, they're you know, they've been in possession much longer, but they're moving the ball so much better. They receive it, they move it. The ball should be, oh, unfortunate. They're calling third party there. Um, great job there, defensive stop, and that ball Earth. should... Quick start there. Yeah, and great it looks job like there. That's gonna be Molly McGuckin, McGuckin to carry it up now. Makes yeah, a great move. job. And she is going up the field now. You hear the crowd going? Yeah. <laughs> I think the crowd, the crowd wants a goal. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> they came out on this evening. They've been watching a lot of good hockey, and they've seen a lot of possession hockey here. And they're like, you know, let's get something for your efforts. Great plays on both sides of the ball. Good the job by Holt again. Little cut back there, and here comes Maloney. Maloney, another senior Spin captain. Move there. Great move there. Here's Rush sending that ball in, 
and I think the Empire signaling that might and be dangerous. Like and Greenwich will get it back once more. Maybe Greenwich will be able to get an offensive possession here. 45 seconds remaining. Ball will go down the field. The Darien goalie will come out to kick it over to... Oh, First and the Darien player trips and falls, giving Greenwich an opportunity to get the ball in the zone. I think that's the first touch on the ball for Grace Ledoux, if I'm not mistaken. Nice job by McGuckin. Oh, great job in the center of the field there by, yeah, by um, Lindsey Olsen. Here's Stockdale, Stockdale sending the up ball up. Oh, here we go. Let's see if, uh, nice job by how good to get a ball ahead there. Uh, that is the end of the third quarter, quarter. happening so fast. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. We are three quarters through, about going to start the fourth quarter quarter in just a moment. But we will take a quick break. 0-0, zero, zero, Darian versus Granite Traversity Field Hockey on the DAF Media Network. We'll be right back. Back here live on the DAF Media Network with Varsity Girls Field Hockey between Darianne and Greenwich 0-0 at the start of the fourth quarter. So much pressure and so much offense so far from the Wave. They just haven't been able to score yet. And Greenwich has just been stacking up on defense, making every stop they need to. Their goalie coming in clutch multiple times. But we will start off this fourth quarter and Darian will start it off. It'll be John's, and she will pass it over to the Greenwich side. Greenwich will take it up now. Yeah, that the Cardinals goalkeeper has been phenomenal. She's had a lot of opportunities. As I said, Grace Ledoux, I think, just touched that ball for the first time, not even on a save, just um, to clear the ball with no pressure around her. So, um, you know, obviously the Darian in possession most of this match many more shots on goal, um, many more opportunities to Greenwich score. Making a play here. Darian once again putting two on the ball, making the stop. Great job there. It around. Yep. We haven't had to see Darian on defense too much tonight, but when they have been, it's been well it's been going well for them. Yeah. As they continue to put multiple players on the ball, making those stops, and no wonder Greenwich hasn't been able to get much offensive opportunity. Darren will launch it up now, and that'll <laughs> go straight out of bounds. See the Greenwich, Greenwich coach trying to catch them. Greenwich will get it right back. <laughs> yeah, the Darian team has just done. You know, it, it, you know, it's you know, unfortunately, we say you know, games are just you know, one a lot of times one goal, um, and the Darian team has just been you know again has been in possession most of this game. So I, I you know, if obviously, it'd be great to see if they could pop one in. Um, Um, and Greenwich will get it here. Uh, 
Um, they've been playing really well together. They've been moving the ball really well. They've had a, t a ton of opportunities. Um, so let's see if they can capitalize on a few of them. The, du the Greenwich defense has done a phenomenal job. They have been under fire this entire match. Um, that's a great stop there. Um, and they have not um, disappointed. I mean, they have time after time after time come away with so many stops. They, again, they have been under pressure this entire match. McGuffin and they have with the giving great go job. To Stockdale gets oh, it nice back. job. Have again, there's a great stop. You can hear the crowd getting a little louder here, hoping for a goal at some point in this match. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. You see they're, they're just doing so well there. They've just every single time has been, has been uh, you know, sticks down. Really patient defense. Um, they're packing it in. In, in. in the circle right now, you can s you can count. You can see so many Greenwich players in there, and they're just not allowing a lot of penetration. That's a great lifted ball in. Um, they're playing smart. They're being patient. They're clearing the ball out. A great job by Johns there. Uh, unfortunately, hit the back heel as she stopped the ball, lifted up. Um, and here comes the, the Cardinals in their back third here, trying to clear something out, get something started again. Darian with another stop. It's Beno there trying to take it up. Oh, hitting. She makes a yep. stop, but with her foot. will get it back. <laughs> Hits her foot. No soccer here. <laughs> that is John's to the outside, but Beno subbed out right at that moment. <laughs> a little tired there. <laughs> John's made a little stop with her foot, too. All right, just inside where it hit the foot, so. The great lifted ball again. Latimer in for Beno here. Yeah, imagine just giving her a little break. She's been playing all match. It's hard as you, you know, in field hockey match, you can run five to six miles um, as a midfielder. So, and people don't realize exactly how much it's in a lot of it is sprinting. Um, so it's not like football where you have special teams. You're doing a quick, you know, quick little sprint a few yards. You're running a full five to six miles at a sprinting um, pace. So it's, it's very tough. Um, great ball inside to Stockdale. You see that great first touch. She's moving that ball into great space, but then spin, spin, I did a spin move right into a defender. Um, so it's got to do a little bit more awareness there. A great inside-outside movement there. There's Johns. Great job. But again, off the middle. nice job with Johns, Johns to go ahead, see if we can get something going here. Johns again in defense. possession. Johns with a shot. And saved great once save again. again. And another diving save there by the Greenwich goaltender. Yeah. I mean, this goalkeeper has done a fantastic job. I can't read the name here. I've been trying to find her name to see who it is. Um, I still can't read that in the dark. Can you read it's it for like me? Uh, Warha Pastor <laughs> or Georgia Pastor. She is doing but a phenomenal job. She, she deserves all the credit. She is making save after save after save. Um, I mean, there's been a lot right at her, but she still is doing a phenomenal job. It, 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 she's just has been coming up with great saves and doing her job today. So kudos to the Cardinals goalkeeper tonight. Darren with a big opportunity here with just 10 minutes to go in the game. Up to Wilkes. Wilkes with a shot. Oh, it's deflected. And Darianne <laughs> scores. Finally, for the first time this game, Darianne scores, taking a 1 0 lead. The constant offensive pressure. And Darianne is able to put one through. It looks like it was a shot from Wilkes that was deflected. I do it was not tipped. Believe I don't know I who. Didn't see who it was there. I believe it was Casey Beno, but I don't. I don't know for sure. Um, I believe she was at the stroke mark. You see Greenwich recouping right here in the center. Um, their defense, you know, they have been playing phenomenally. They're probably not used to that. They just want to regroup and say, "All right, guys, let's go." Um, but again, Darian has been in possession most of this match. So um, clock is ticking down now for Greenwich. Ten they minutes remaining. They haven't had. Much offense at all this game, so now they are really being put on the time. Yeah, and you're always most vulnerable after you score a goal, so oh, so you want to make sure that you're, there's Johns nice and low, yeah, and great job by Beno to send that out. Yeah, they're, after they're giving up a goal, Greenwich is able to they just take it up, get some possession here. They just signal an obstruction call, so that's going to be a, um, a Greenwich corner. might have an opportunity here. Darian just scored for the first time all game. Let's see what happens here. Uh, attack penalty corner. See the Darien defense hasn't hasn't had a lot of. Uh, this is only the second a corner for them. So let's see. They haven't had a lot of ball coming out wide. Staying nice and low. Ball sent back. Good job and just wide. And Darien will get the clearance now. So 16-yard hit coming out. 
So it's a second attack penalty corner for Greenwich. The ball has not been down in this end quite often, so they haven't had as many opportunities. Um, and that I'm not saying that is <laughs> positive with the attack penalty corners. You want to have a better result on, you know, on the score here. So that's saying a lot for the Greenwich defense. Um, good job with Darien defense again, clearing that ball. But they're saying. Uh, I can't see, so again, uh, Michelle umpiring fantastic down there, so she's seeing a foot. It's very difficult for I me. I did just get a little bit of, I did just get some confirmation here yes. about that Darian goal. It was a shot by Wilkes that was then tipped by Holt. Oh, Holt, so fantastic. Holt is able to get the goal there for All the right. blue wave, putting them up one nothing. All right, so here is again another attack penalty corner. Uh, nothing, and then all of a sudden, two in a row. See the daring defense and clear this out. Great insert. It goes wide again. Oh, that's a really long. So they're going to send that out. I don't know if they're going to try the same play. That's a that's a tough one to get. And um, yep, Darian defense able to clear that ball. Not quite. It's out of the circle, but it's not quite. Yep, ball coming out. You want to take that ball quickly. Great job sending that ball out, but stopped. You see the Greenwich defense right there, and I believe that's John sending that. Yep. Good job, and sending the ball back is Greenwich, and they're still here, and they're coming since down that left-hand side. And since that Darien goal, we've seen Greenwich with all the pressure. You know, again, you you know, you feel that pressure. You're like it's been, you know, a, a match here, and you you know, y when you get scored upon, you you get really hungry here. Um, long hit for d for the Cardinals coming in at the 25. This is where, um, you know, Darien's got to remain strong. They've been playing a fantastic match. They've had possession most of the match, and you can't give it up now. There's Benoit with a great stop. Here's Stockdale sending a ball ahead to, oh, to McGuckin, and, and it hits, hits her. McGuckin mm -hmm. in the foot or the leg, I believe. So Greenwich will have <laughs> another chance. Sense of urgency from Greenwich now. You can see them all yeah. trying to move a little bit faster, get the ball in there a little There's bit McGuckin, quicker. great job. McGuckin with the stop once again. She'll launch it in towards Hapgood, Hapgood. Touches it, gets it a great it little touch and, and a good job with the defense keep again. The pressure on oh, there's Hapgood again. Shot to the middle, but I believe Greenwich will get it now. Yeah, and they can start that ball anywhere from the back line, so they did. And Greenwich um, with a great move there. But a whistle is blown, and it will go to Darien. Six minutes, 30, 30 seconds remaining in this match. So Darien going to... Obviously, try to hold on to the lead, maybe even increase the lead if they can. Greenwich, obviously, trying to this game gonna score an equalizer. Great job, Ebenau. Going to come down to whether Greenwich is able to put one in the net or not. It doesn't look like uh, they have been getting a lot of opportunities so far, but ever since Darian scored that goal, Greenwich has been putting more pressure on, but Darian will take it here. It's Beno. She'll take a shot towards the middle, and it is tipped out by Greenwich. Time ticking down every second. So important for the Cardinals right now. They need a goal, but Darian just keeping that pressure on, taking their time. This is Olsen back to Holt. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that ball was meant to go up and over. Dangerous ball, so it'll be, yep, Greenwich starting up with a quick start. It's a great job exactly what they want to do. <coughs> Looks like Stockdale may have touched it. Yeah, they're starting every every ball really quickly, which is very smart on their on their behalf. It's great, great ball thrown in the backfield. Um, here is Emma Riley. Greenwich really putting the pressure on. You can see them going up to try to make a play on every single ball, but Darianne once again being able to penetrate through that Greenwich offense. <laughs> Greenwich is able to make a play towards the middle. It is stopped by the wave. Keeping that pressure on, though. And Darian will be able to knock it out of the zone temporarily. Milking some more time off of the clock. There's McGuckin working hard in the front line, and you still have Stockdale right behind her. Great job by Holt. Holt, a junior, so again, another, you know, n not quite youngster, Stockdale. but still re returning la next year. Um, so we talk about, again, the youth of this team. Four minutes remaining in this match. The Cardinals will get it now. 
minutes to go. one nothing. Darianne. Greenwich needs a goal or else this game is over for them. It is Wilkes up to Hapgood. Greenwich able to get get the ball once more. There will be a stoppage. So just three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Darien's got to keep their high pressure up as they've been doing all match. Not a time to let down now. You know, they um, had a fantastic match against New Canaan up to <laughs> zero. Do not want to see a repeat of that. Great job by Holt to step up. Should um, Great job there and good stop there. Um, Bogdan checks back into the game. Yeah, she's out Wilkes, I believe. Sarah, we talked about Sarah Bogdan. She's got a great, great hit over. Good step up there. Yep. And there she is on the far side of yep, the field. Yeah, Pierce John's over bringing the ball out and sending the ball out nice and wide. So Greenwich will have an opportunity there on their left side. They're in their offensive 25. So Darian's got to be super smart here, play really well. Defense has got to be smart, have their sticks on the ground, put a stop down, and play just as good as defense as Greenwich has been playing all match. That is McGuckin, but... They got to turn around and face back. this ball. They're starting it off very quickly. Yeah, which is what they've been doing all match. And they, you know, especially in this time when the time, oh, unfortunate for Greenwich. The ball just went right between. Darian not letting Greenwich get by easily here with just two minutes and 20 seconds to go in this one. It's going to be Greenwich ball coming out on the right side, having a really good opportunity here for the Cardinals. Two minutes remaining. Again, Darian's just got to really stay up here. Last two minutes. Don't want to fade quickly. Um, it's got a nice little lift into the circle. Oh, good opportunity there. And um, um, whistle is blown. Pyre, I didn't see what you signaled, but it I looks like the it's defensive like corner unit is going in. So attack penalty corner here. Good Greenwich. opportunity here for the Cardinals. Just a minute 45 left in this one. Greenwich with a big chance here. They need to score to tie it. It's been a long game, a lot of pressure from Darian. Greenwich has finally pressed down on that gas pedal ever since Darian scored. It's got about Time 90 seconds left in the left. match. Time ticking down. Now, let's see what this Darian defensive unit can do. Um, Greenwich has been inserting this ball wide all the way across. Oh. It's such a, such a long insert across. Great Middle stop there, there and great Darian. clear out. They clear it. And they're going to try to restart this ball right away. And that ball's got to be... a great pass in the middle, but it goes through. Nobody was able to get it there. Just a minute to go in this game. Sense of urgency here for Greenwich, unfortunately for Greenwich. Yeah, the umpire's signaling um, a Darian. long hit. So it's going to be... Oh, no. D Darian ball coming out. Okay, so Greenwich is going to try to pack this in. They do not want this ball leaving their offensive... Um, area and obviously Darian trying to clear this ball out by any means necessary just to hold on to this one goal lead. There are 40, uh, two seconds left. On a rush now. Oh, great! Go ahead and and uh, Greenwich will get it with just 33 seconds left to go. You can see everybody here at the stadium field and Darian. Good job by Johnson to put a stop clock. on. And and here's Bogdan keeping the yep. pressure. Expecting nothing less from that. Greenwich team then putting a stop here. 15 seconds to go. Bogdan with it in the offensive zone and looks like Darian's going to come away with a win. There's there might just nine seconds remaining off the game. Yeah, you heard the Darian team counting down. There's no way Greenwich going to be able to get this ball down the field and get a goal. So here's a win. So Darian will take down the Greenwich Cardinals in girls field hockey. Thank you so much for coming on tonight, Kari and. Um, Quick shout out to our DAF media crew, Davis Stepp, Kate DeMark, and Braden Shank. What a game. Came down to the last minute. Greenwich with multiple opportunities, but they just could not convert. Darianne finding themselves scoring in the fourth quarter and winning the game 1-0. Uh, on behalf of DA the DAF Media Network, I'd like to thank you all. For tuning in tonight, the DAF Media Network is a joint venture of the Darian Foundation and the Darian Athletic Foundation. We hope you enjoyed tonight's broadcast, and uh, we will see you soon.